Joe Biden's message to illegal immigrants during his campaign was, let them come. I'd have the tape, but I said I wouldn't play the tape. And since taking office, Biden said he's gotten control of the border. Vice President Kamala Harris, uh, Homeland Security Secretary Mayorkas, uh, Biden's press secretary, Corinne Jean-Pierre, have all said the border is either secure or the border is closed. Yet the Border Patrol says, well, guess what? They have been a record 6.5 million encounters with illegal immigrants and so-called asylum seekers at the border since President Biden took office. The administration says, well, they don't know how many people actually are in the country illegally. Gentlemen, the American people, I ask you, um, I believe it's your turn, uh, Governor Newsom, have the American people on the issue of borders, you're defending the Biden administration, they're saying the border's secure. They're saying the border's closed. Those are the numbers from our own Border Patrol. Are the American people being lied to? I don't think they're being lied to. The Biden administration put out a comprehensive plan day one when he got sworn into office three years ago. And the Republican Party didn't touch it. They haven't moved on it. They play politics with us. And I'll be honest with you, I think there's probably one person I wouldn't listen to on this topic more than the guy that I'm standing next to, Ron DeSantis. He is absolutely he lacks any credibility on the issue of immigration. When he was in Congress, he supported amnesty. That when he's in false. Congress, you supported John Boehner's bill. It's a that fact. False. When you were in Congress, you supported I killed Obama's. John you supported bill. Obama's efforts that is to false. advance comprehensive reform. False. The last guy you right. want to talk to on the immigration. Your immigration policy can best be described as a governor from the state of Florida going into another state, the state of Texas, lying to migrants, promising them jobs and housing, sending them to an island, Martha's Vineyard, and then sending them to a parking lot in Sacramento, California. I met with those migrants that you lied to under false pretense. That kind of gamesmanship, using human beings as pawns, I think is disqualifying. So again, a guy who stands here who's been out on the Republican debate stage saying, well, he's going to be tough, he's going to shoot people with backpacks, uh, and that he has a strategy to potentially even invade our second largest trading partner, uh, Mexico, that has a record of supporting amnesty and supporting reforms under the Obama administration, is the last guy to be standing on stage talking about the issue of immigration reform tonight. Well, I'll tell you what, it's deja vu all over again with that flurry of lies. This is a guy that says the Biden administration is not lying to the public about the border. They go to the White House uh, briefing room every day. They say the border's secure. They are lying to you. We know that that's not true. Gavin Newsom is lying to you when he says somehow I supported these things, which I didn't do. He's also <laughs> lying fact. to you uh, about what it's going to take to solve this problem. California is a sanctuary state. Uh, they thumb their nose at federal immigration law. And this has real consequences. Uh, there was an illegal alien, Herbert Nixon Flores, uh, who was in L.A., uh, in custody. He was a repeat criminal. ICE wanted to take him into custody because then they would be able to deport him. L.A. refuses to work with ICE, and so they wouldn't turn him over. They end up releasing him on the street. He ends up murdering the mother of a three-year-old little girl. Uh, that, those policies are deadly. Uh, they do not work. And I'll tell you this. Uh, the, the Martha's Vineyard transport, Martha's Vineyard said it was a sanctuary jurisdiction. <laughs> kind of reminds me about Gavin Newsom when he restricted Californians, then he went to the French Laundry. These liberal elites, they like to impose burdens on you. They don't want to have to face the consequences of their actions. So we've got a lot of elites who <laughs> want open borders, yeah. who lecture right. everybody else about it. Uh, and the minute they have to deal with any of the consequences, oh, man, all hell breaks loose. Well, how about and they the get upset. Hold on. Of we're, we're, moving on we're, we're moving on to the next question. question. I mean, We'd be much better on off the same country, topic. If that were the case. On the, on the same topic, this is important. This is a very important question. Good. While some migrants I know want to come to America for a better life for themselves and their family, find the American dream, I, I totally sympathize with them. Uh, many good people fleeing very bad situations abroad. Um, but others are abusing the asylum process and in the process in search of, of where they're coming from, we're now learning that many are coming from some of our top geopolitical foes, countries with little to no vetting or people that are coming in. They're not being vetted. Look at these numbers. Between October 2021, October 2023, border agents encountered 6,386 nationals from Afghanistan, 3,153 from Egypt, 659 from Iran. 
the number one state sponsor of terror. 538 from Syria, 12,605 from Russia, and a whopping 26,113 from China. Now, my question, the next question goes to you, Governor Newsom. What are the odds that, that Biden's open borders have allowed terrorists and terror cells unvetted into this country? Is that a clear and present danger to every American? The odds are 100 percent. Of course our enemies are going to take advantage of this. He opened the border. He's not uh, vi he's violating his oath of office to take care that the laws are faithfully executed. He's knowingly having 8 million come in. And yes, there's criminal aliens, there are terrorists, there's a lot of fentanyl that we've had tens of thousands of fentanyl deaths. I've had the uh, uh, I've met a lot of angel parents who have lost kids to fentanyl overdose. And the, and the problem is, you know, you'll have a, a, high, a college kid that may take some pill not knowing that there's fentanyl in it. And then right there, that can be fatal. They're poisoning our people. And Joe Biden is sitting on his hands. He refuses to take care of the border. He refuses to hold the drug cartels accountable. This is the vision of Biden, Harris, Newsom. Open borders. Americans suffer. And Americans continue to die because of fentanyl overdose. There will be, unfortunately, a terrorist attack at some point that we'll be able to trace back to our it, southern border. God, God just, forbid, by the way, do you see that is, risk, Governor Newsom? Hold on, hold Governor, on. I mean, do, you see, do you see the risk? Joe Biden put out not only a comprehensive plan, he consistently puts up plans. I hold understand. on, no, but Sean, is there, let me, is no, there no, a let risk? Me, I'm going to answer, answer your question. I, I support border security, I think the asylum system is broken. I believe that we need. I understand that. I, I'm, the one that, I'm the only guy here that's a border state governor. You're trolling folks and trying to find migrants to play political games to try to get some news and attention so you can out Trump Trump. And by the way, how's that going for you, Ron? You're down 41 points in your own home state. On the issue of immigration, Joe Biden put a $14 billion immigration package up in front of Congress, 2,300 border agents, as well as custom officials, 1,000 new law enforcement officers to deal with a fentanyl issue. And by the way, that's a major issue in your state, 41 percent higher overdose rates than the state of California. And here's what I haven't heard, not a peep. From Ron DeSantis, they want to demagogue this issue. You want to play politics with this issue. You don't want to solve this issue. Why don't you lead your Go party Governor Newsom. and support that $14 right, billion? Me, hold on. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.